Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well today. And in this video, I'm gonna be going out into the garden and making a meal. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go outside and water the plants. Now it is going to rain here soon, but it's gonna be like in the next hour or two. So I'm just gonna water them now. Some of the plants look like they desperately need some water. So that is why I am gonna be doing it now. So I'll sort of go around and show what things I am growing. I do apologize for the noise. There are people who are building a deck next door. So I'm going to try and be as quick as possible as I can. So over here we do have some cucumbers growing. And there's another one. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. And there's a couple more down over there if you can see and over here we have a squash plant this guy um, is growing very well I already have gotten one squash off of him so far and we have another one growing over here I have two of them that uh, I did not mean to plant but one of them started growing and then the other one took a while to grow so I need to separate them and yeah so we've got the cucumbers here and over here and then there's some in there too and then next to it are these gold nugget cherry tomatoes they just turn like this orangey color and then they're ready to pick and over here I forgot the name of this guy but he's really pretty he's just like a simple little like flower kind of plant it's not anything to harvest it's just something pretty to look at and these guys are still kicking even though it's very hot and this is the okra growing right here I've already picked off some that I will uh, show you guys in a sec and then down there are some more flowers here are the peppers and unfortunately um, what variety is this? The Cupid Sweet Peppers are doing really well. Um, you can see like there's like this guy, he's actually starting to turn red. You can't really see that. Here, here's a better one. He's starting to turn red. But these guys, um, they are doing this before they start turning the color that's supposed to be and look this guy even just fell off I just realized that um, they are lacking calcium uh, from what research that I was able to do online and I did try to put some eggshells in here as you can see um, and try to help him but oh man it does not look like these guys are gonna be making it I might be picking them while they're green and just harvest them like that but yeah that's something that i need to prepare for next year this is a different variety those are the glow sweet peppers so yeah hopefully i can fix that next year and then over here we have some bush beans growing and they are growing like crazy this whole thing is just out of control i'll be picking them here and then over there is the thyme. That is something that I'm gonna be harvesting all at the end when fall comes. Oh, and this weird setup right here is where we have the umbrella at. And it was crazy because the base actually like took off into the air, the whole umbrella did, and it went off the side of the deck. 
and um, yeah, so I have all this extra weight so that never happens again. <laughs> And then over here are more flowers. There's like wild flowers. I'm not really sure what they are. These are the lilies. They never come up. I don't know why they didn't do it last year either. Um, might have to transplant them into some better quality soil. And then we got the Swiss chard. I'll be getting some of that here soon. There's some more over here. This stuff is growing so well. And then that's the, the lemon balm. The Burma got, which I had just found out that I can harvest the leaves. Um, it's a type of herb that Native Americans had used, and it's supposed to be good for a medicinal uses. I'll have to um, mention it later what it is because I can't remember exactly what it is at the moment. And then that is sage down there. These are all perennials, so they will come back. And this is something that I'll probably wind up harvesting uh, with the thyme right here. Because these are all perennials uh, near the end of fall. And then over here, we got some tomatoes. This is the black crim. And they're growing pretty well. They are doing this, which I'm pretty sure that's from the heat. It gets a little bit too hot. Then we've got some more tomatoes. Those are the indigo cherry drops. They're really neat. They kind of have like an indigo color up top and then they're right on the bottom. And yeah, we've got some more over here. This right here, oh my goodness, that is huge. That is just a regular cherry tomato. Uh, yeah, so these guys are growing very well. And then back here is the striped German tomatoes. I don't think anything... Oh, there's something right here, actually. Yeah, they're actually starting to flower right now. And over here are the black... Or Japanese black tomatoes. And these are very, like, unique looking. They almost look like a, uh, like a teardrop. And, yeah, we've got some of the garlic chives that I will be harvesting here. And then these are um, the sweet, or I'm sorry, snap peas. I'm gonna be getting some more seeds off of these because these are just like ready to harvest for me to collect more seeds. And then over here, this is the plant that grew on its own. <laughs> this is the... Um, winter squash it grows like a vine like a mini vine is what they call it so it does come up a bit these have all been uh male flowers which are the flowers that give you the pollen and it's not the produce so eventually hopefully up here we'll get some produce and these are what do they call the snapdragon flowers yeah they're really cool they come like different colors there's some white ones there's some yellow ones and yeah, they're really pretty then and i have some more growing down here too but i haven't seen any flowers and then i forgot to mention right here is the rhubarb it's actually starting to take off because before they were just staying like this thin and not getting any thicker but now you can see like some of these guys back here they're getting thick and tall which is great and so that's something that i'll probably be harvesting near the end of fall and yeah so i am going to be harvesting some things now and we'll be cooking food soon right oreo <laughs>
it. This is what I had just got right now. Today. Some Swiss chard. Some uh, bush beans and tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. And then this was from the other day. I had harvested this stuff. And uh, this is one of the peppers that were ready to go. And these are uh, three okra, that is the summer squash, and then we still have some more tomatoes. And I'm going to be rinsing all of these dudes off, and then we will get into cooking. Okay, I have everything all cleaned. Now I am going to start cutting. I'm just going to be cutting the tomatoes in half and then I'll really cut the Swiss chard up. Well, not really, really, but I'll cut it up a bit more and then I'll cut this guy up into like slices and yeah, everything else is pretty small. So there's really not going to be much to cut. I'm going to be making um, a stir fry essentially. We have this beef, um, like sausage link, I don't know what you want to call it, I guess a beef link, <laughs> and um, I'm going to cook that as the protein, and then all of this will just be in there with it. Oh yeah, look, I wanted to show you, look how crazy this guy looks. So weird. So we've got this beef smoked sausage. Okay, that is what it's called. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna be cutting this up and then cooking this first, and then um, I'll slowly add in the vegetables. First, I wasn't going to, but I'm going to cut these guys again in half.
Okay, so I am going to get this pan warmed up and then I will put the meat on. While I wait for that, I'm going to be putting some oil in here and then some seasonings and mixing it all up. This is just the bowl um, full of the veggies that I had just harvested. So I'm putting in, it's a smoked Memphis barbecue seasoning. I thought that would taste good with the beef. And then I'll be putting in some pepper. And I think I'm also gonna be putting in some of the parsley that I had growing inside. Put a little bit of turmeric. Gives it some color. And I'll do a little bit of onion powder. And I'll mix this up. Okay, and then I'll be using the same utensil. And I'm just gonna kinda mix that around. This is just butter, oil, uh, pepper and salt. And now I will be adding the meat. Turn down the temperature a little bit. Okay, this is looking good. Now I will be adding in the veggies. Well, and I guess and fruits, right? Little tomato and fruit. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Okay, so this looks about ready. So the only thing I'm really gonna do is just give a little taste test. I wanna see what it tastes like. Okay, that's good. Let me do a little piece of the Swiss chard. Okay, and need a little bit more salt and pepper. So I'll do that. Try it one more time. Okay, that tastes better. So I'm gonna turn it off and enjoy some dinner.
Okay, I'm gonna go and enjoy this meal. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.